From the mystical breeze in the morning Till the dawning of a new day Greetings, greetings, everyone, and welcome to the Sister Lil Show um, on Bless Radio. For those of you who can't get us on the FM, which you should be able to, we're also on www.blessradio.org, or you can listen to us live streaming on the YouTube on Bless Radio 1. Now, before we're going to go into tonight's interview, which we're going to have with uh, Dr. Lance Lewis, based in Manchester... Um, he was um, a British European champion and a world kickboxing champion and is now a doctor in education. So we'll be talking to him a little later. But first we're just going to play you one or two tracks and we're going to start with a Joy Mac and the song is called Serious Thing. <laughs> Fue 
the team.
and I is I. Yes, that's it, my people. Have some regard for yourself. Self care, very important. Now, the next track coming up is by Maccabee and it's called Be Yourself. Be yourself. Don't let the system control you. Be yourself. Don't let the system turn you into sheep. Don't let it turn you into brainwashed people. No matter how them try, them can't conquer iron, 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 iron. Said don't let the system mold you. Said don't let the system control you. Said don't let it take away your energy. Try keep your individuality. Said don't let the system use you. Don't let the system abuse you. Don't let it control your liberty. Be yourself to the best of your ability. Now you it down, yo. Follow you, not follow them. Before you know it, then you're turning in on one of them. You're bowing down to the pounds and the dollar them. Just be true to your words and try to honor them. Now you it down, down. Follow you, not follow them. Before you know it, then you're turning in on one of them. You're bowing down to the pounds and the dollar them. Just be true to your words. Trying to take your inner strength and your originality Stopping you from trying to be the way that you're supposed to be Fighting against freedom and your individuality Use up your mentality when shaping your reality It's not about the quantity of life, it is equality If your mind is truly free, you'll be who you want to be Then you will see Yeah, 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 I'll follow you, not follow them Before you know Hello I'm very well, thank you. Pass your, ah, pass your behalf of me. You've been great. And we work together. Well, we used to work together.
meet, you meet young people who haven't got a focus. And I met, met them quite a lot. I think, yeah, I met lots of youth who don't have that focus. Um, and it's like, then how do you then help motivate them to get a focus, to help them to gain a kind of focus, a light? You know, whether you're in a dark room and then the light comes on, so you said, get follow that light. And some, some the light ain't on. And sometimes it's like, well, how do I get this light turned on? So they go, right, yeah, I'm going for it. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, you got it. They can explain the tricky, you know, things in life. They can like basically tell you off, or and this guy, you know, you you accept the telling off, or you accept them putting you right because, well. What they've been telling me has been true so far. So if they're telling me off now, it's for my good because everything they've told me before has been for my good. So my heart tells me they are doing this in truth. So I'll listen to them. Yep, true, true. I mean, once they do, youth do come into my vicinity, the more angry whatever youth, it's, it's like, right, okay, I see a lot of rage there. How to deal with your rage? Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to channel it some way. Let me see if I can get you into some sport, some activity. If you like to fight, great. <laughs> come, <laughs> let me bring you to these clubs where you can fight all you want. We will channel your energy because you are fighting. Welcome, meet me here, and we're going to go to a number of places. They're going to help you to fight. <laughs> now it could be something else that they're into. So it's like, okay, how can I help them channel their energy in? So playing chess, they might be into chess. They might be into this, that, that. I know that can help within that region, help guide them because they like that area. Now if they're into the street. Then it's like, okay, we have enough man on the street is now working positively. So therefore, okay, this you need to talk to certain man or certain ex pharmaceutical agents. Yeah. They need to speak to certain ex pharmaceutical agents who are at the management level so you see the real deal. So they've got a true choice. So therefore then I have to put that into reality whereby, well, okay, you need to talk to certain people. So you see the reality. And, you know, that's one ex experience I give, or uh, have given to young people, or young youths, is meeting people with certain experiences that they can talk with and see the real deal and go, okay, this is what really happens in this. This is how much you have to sell this to make this amount. And how much rent you're paying? <laughs> and you have to make how much doing what? And who's going to pay any rent? Are you living with your mum? Oh, right, that's interesting. <laughs> well, yeah. No, no, I mean, you know, and it's, it's temper anyway. I mean, they have to be, you think, well, the only gangsters I know who got away with things were countries, you know, who stole continents. You know, they got away with it. So I'm like, and you think me and like they got away with stealing continents, and you think you can out out tease them? Really? <laughs> Stole continents, and you thinking you're gonna beat them, right? Okay, you know.
I mean, some, some, I mean, some, yeah, obviously there's a, a seed dropped in the, in the mind then, and that might take a week, two weeks, a year, two years to grow, you know, because it's a seed. It's a, well, look, you're into teeth, you're into this, you're into that. I, I don't think you're going to stop just because I say, but I'm going to say a couple of things that are seeds in your head, you know? So it's putting the seeds there so that they can think about it and have they ever thought about it in those terms that, well, you, you know, the greatest teeth you live in in the nation. You're living here. Think of how they teeth and you think you cannot teeth them. Get real. Well, it's funny to say that because um, sometimes I'll, I'll be walk I remember a number of times actually with my wife walking on, in the street and guys coming up to me with beards. I'm like, who the hell are you? And then them thanking me, you know, like six foot, nearly seven foot, when I had them do a, you know, a lot smaller. <laughs> and they'll come up to me in the street and go, thank you, sir, thank you, sir, or whatever. It's happened numerous times, you know, for kids, or no, the young men, they come up to me and they'll thank me for what I'd said, what I did. You know, and and uh, for them in school. So I've had I've had a few times guys come up to me. I don't recognise them because they're big men now. <laughs> they hold me up or whatnot and go, "Thank you, thank you, sir, thank you, thank you, sir." And I'm like, "Okay, okay." <laughs> yeah, it's great. I mean, yeah, it's been it's been you know. Great for you know for those kids who work for and being able to come back to me and say thank you and actually thank me and I've had that a few times. I I'm like yeah there was one in a club once. We went to this club because it was a birthday do. I can't remember if it was a doorman, but they hugged me up because what I just what I'd done for them <laughs> in school. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course. I mean, uh, all, all my cases have not been as positive. I've had, like, notorious, certain notorious males that I've worked with. However, the vast majority have been extremely positive, you know. And so I'm thankful for that. You know? And I kind of, you know, I'm just like, oh, great, I love it when I'm, I, I meet and see them around and about, you know, just being happy and doing well, doing okay. Yeah, it's really brilliant. I love it. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, when do you see it? Like, yeah, great, being brilliant. <laughs> just great, you know, just, you know, just pass through, gone through the stuff, you know, and living their life and just being positive. So for me, that's really pleasing to see that. Yeah, I mean... I would, I'd say 99% it was with males. There was a time when I did have some females in the group work program. Um, and and in the school, of course, it was male and female. But that was a total mix. of different. It was an EBD school. But there have been some females in the, in the program who, I, when they said, I was like, yeah, the females tended to um, benefit from it to an extent, even though I've heard of one female recently who is not so positive in her own person, unless she's a woman now, you know, a woman now. But you, I've heard things and I think, hmm, okay, I remember you were really, really quite wise and woman when you were in the group. And I hit what and I wasn't so smart. So, you know, I have had females in a group, and I say the vast majority of females, I've not heard any anything that I could say is negative about them, except what, but usually, you know, I feel that the girls that did pass through the, the group were, and that was some time, right? They're doing okay because I've not heard anything to the contrary of that. And the focus is always on males, though. Yeah, because it's like they were the ones that we were mainly getting into the hassle. <laughs> 99.9% it was the males. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Puh. Ja. Well, well, I've got it written. I'd, 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 I tried it. I'd read it out, and it, it's a statement about black male. But you're talking about well, the white male does not fear the black woman or the white woman, but the white male does fear one thing: the black male. So therefore, if you look at the kind of destruction rate of black males around the planet, and it's ah, oh, that's why we have the lowest life expectancy on the planet because the fear. However, that will change. Because I'm always, like, for me, it's like I've had so much dream on my beginnings in life, but then it's looking for the positive, whereby that's how I survived, that's how I achieved it. It was like, well, no, I can do that. So I look at the positive in the world and saying, well, the West at this moment is actually being given its orders by the rest of the planet. The game is no longer being played in the, what you, in the, the way you wish to play it. And things are changing on the planet and will be changing the next, uh, no, next two to five to ten years. There's going to be massive changes on the planet, social and politically, and therefore, you know, things are going to be, I believe things will be better for our people of colour on the planet, because when the global financial structures are totally dominated by people of colour and the other white nation, which is cool, then you can see changes on the planet, and that's happening. But we like it or not, because the planet has already decided that they've had their meetings. They've decided it. Yes. Why do you think why do you think China is doing what it's doing? And um, because there, there's a new framework on the planet. The new rules are, and the, if you look at the BRICS nations, even though Brazil's kind, Brazil's kind of a bit wobbly. Um, the, the, there's new rules on the planet. They're talking about the, the nations of the highest p populations, and they've said one number one, the, the looking after the planet as a new. So nations are getting gotten together to form an alternative. Number two, we're no longer dealing in the dollar. Gold will be the base, not paper. That and so I'm saying, well, the world decided that already. This is things that the media ain't necessarily talking massively about, but these are changes on the planet because oil causes the planet to run around, and who controls that? And the money is now switching, swapping over to Russia and China and the BRICS nations, and they've said we're changing things. And that's, uh, that's for us as just general people, general population, to find out what's happening in the world, you know, in the geo-global politics. Because we've got our own mini micro-politics, what happens in your house, in your home, but what happens in your country, and what happens globally? You know? And what are we doing? I mean, we're, we're in the UK, but what side of the planet is the UK going to be in on? Because the planet is splitting in two. You can have the one side and the BRICS nations and those who say, no, no paper no longer, gold is going to be the base of everything, and we want to deal with the planet in a different way. But where's England going to be in this? Because it tends to be the USA. Yeah, it is usually the case. However, England does like to survive. So it's going to be interesting to see which way it goes once it leaves the European market. To say, is it going to join the BRICS nations? What, you leave Europe because the people are colour? And now you're running to a place full of people of colour. <laughs> you got it. You know, 
and it's up to us. It's us, you know, in like us taking that responsibility, you know, to like find out. You know, it's, it's like like me before against like it's my responsibility as an athlete to prepare correctly for my next opponent. It's my responsibility. I'm not going to go in there blind, not knowing. So, isn't that the same for the world in a sense? Do we enter it blind, not knowing? You know. But you wouldn't do it. You wouldn't do it. So, if you take an example in school, for example, you know, if you don't study, you don't do this, you don't do that. The same thing is going to occur. And once you, like some kids are very smart and bright. They don't need to revise. They tell you where they come unstuck when they go to the degree level. That's when they come unstuck. What do you mean you don't need to revise? Oh, I've, I've got photographic memory and all that. I go, yeah, cool. Okay, wait till you get to the degree level. <laughs> yeah? You might, you might, straight through A levels, then once you get to that level, what? What, you don't need to revise? I don't think so. You got it. Yes. Well, my mum was a, what you call a black Indian on the room, yeah? She was, yeah, so mum's moon, she was, my grandma was moon, my, my grandfather was, was Amerindian, yeah? So, yeah, so my grandma was maroon, my grandfather was Amerindian. Um, that comes out in me and my hair and all that stuff. Um, how that aspect, what happens is when I'm in the States, it's recognised because other Native Americans will just come up to me. Uh, it took me going to a reservation for me to acknowledge it myself anyway, because everyone was asking me, what tribe are you from, what tribe are you from? I'm going, I'm from England, what are you talking about? And then he sat me down, <laughs> then he sat me down and explained it all to me. <laughs> well, well, the chief just sat me down and explained it all to me, and I went, okay. <laughs> so I find now, when I'm in the States, well, last time I was in the States, went to the museum, I was, yeah, I was in the museum anyway, and some of the Native American guys, they kind of, when certain other, because the white folk were about, they kind of shooed them out of the room. And then when they were out of the room, they shut the door and then said, right, man, let's talk. So, yeah, I thought, yo, okay. I went, yeah, my, my great, my, maybe my grandfather, yeah, he was Amerindian. And they go, yeah, we can see. And whenever I've gone into, when I've gone into Native American environments in the States, and pointed out with me. They were going, yo, man, we can see it in you. And I, when I was in the it was a chief in the reservation. I went to a reservation and I was shocked because I saw so many black people around. I thought, wait a minute. I thought I was coming to, I, was, I, was, I had John Wayne movies in my head. You see, John Wayne movies, I had them in my head. So when I went to the reservation, right. Yeah. Yeah, it comes out in yeah, in your hair. No, yeah. So that's a big one. Yeah, they do. It was a shock to me. It was a real shock because there was a Native American in the States who recognized it in me and got me to acknowledge it. You know? So You got it, you got it. Yeah, most definitely. Most definitely. Yeah. 
yeah, that would that would be cool. <laughs> that would be cool. Yeah, all of that. Yes. Yeah, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, of course. I mean, I, I'm in there every day at the moment because it's such a vibe there. It is a kind of people have been due to you know like the death that gone through. Um, there's a piece of people in there just supporting like crazy. Much more dispersed in London than then up here. Yeah. I'm not. I'm. Uh, I'm not certain as yet. I mean, um, for me, I've been surprised just to how people responded to me anyway, and just the just how people let on to me, passing through the estate, you know, at, at the Alex estate and whatnot. I've been pleasantly surprised because um, people are it's like letting on to me, not knowing them from Adam, and I'm passing through the estate, and I'm like, wow. Damn, <laughs> everyone's letting on to me. <laughs> I don't know, yeah, but everyone's that kind of vibe, yeah, which has been a pleasant surprise with me moving from one part of the city to, say, my side area. I'm in Old Trafford, but I have to pass through this Alex, Alex Park estate and walk through there. And I've been pleasantly surprised at just how people responded to me, who let on, the amount of people who've let me. It's really been a pleasant surprise. Yeah. Got it. So, so, yeah, kids are like, well, whatever. You know, it's um, it's like that feedback. It's like you always appreciate feedback. So when people do show appreciation, whatever form, it's cool. You know, it's like, well, yeah, okay. You remembered. <laughs> All right, okay. I, I love meeting ex pupils because they because they come from they know because they were with me as youth. <laughs> you know what I mean? I had to tell them off or what, all of that, and just to try and get them on this road. And, they, and then now you know they they see what you're doing. They didn't then, but they do as adults. They look at you, and you know they now understand. Yeah, they get it now. You know. Yeah, yeah, because there's lots of youths who, who had some very do around a lot of self, you know, destructive roads they could have took, but chose to take other roads. You know, they made the choice, but it's helping them make that choice. It's like helping them, giving them more 
tools in which to make a choice, a more wise choice, see all the angles of certain things. So I say, okay, if you're going to go down that road, be very clear what it is you're going down. So, you know, helping them see that so they can go, okay, make your decision, but you know you're doing it clearly because you see what it is. And how you help them see what it is, you know, how do you help them see the path that they're choosing to go on? Do they wish to see the path they're, they're choosing to go on? You know, how do you get them to see or want to see <laughs> the path they're choosing to go on? Micah B, and it is called Be Yourself. And I and I will always be I, no matter how the system tries. Be yourself, don't let the system mow you. Be yourself, don't let the system for a few seconds but we have you back with us and for those of you who joined us halfway through this is blessed radio it's the sister lil show and we're talking to dr lance lewis here who was a former uh, kickboxing championship and um, has done many areas within martial arts and is now um, an educator so um, we were saying a little earlier, Lance, about um, the importance of having good uh, mentors for the youth and to be able to um, focus them on something positive or in helping them to focus and develop. So I was asking you, um, would you say that this is m something that would help to curve the anger and help to curve the lost um, children that we're experiencing currently in our community? I am. Um, are you talking to me now? Yes. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Um, I do agree because I think... Um, oh, greetings, um, greetings. Sorry, listeners. This isn't Lance. This is um, Batar Council. Greetings, greetings. Yes. Greetings, greetings, yes. Greetings, yes. Yes, um, I am calling... I am um, the me a member of the Qatar Council. Yes. And um, I, I think what you're doing there, this is the reason why we were formed, because one of the ang anger amongst the children, it's something that, that, that is multifaceted. Mm -hmm. um, the children don't have their own model. They don't have the incentives. They don't have nothing to look power to. Mm -hmm. So, so and, and we could See the problem. Um, the hence the reason why we think by creating, by forming the Pata Council, when we will award mm -hmm. people in the community and internationally, they will see a reason why they have to achieve and to become role models themselves within our community and for the future prosperity of our children. Absolutely wonderful. So the Patar Council focuses on um, being that definition, from what I'm understanding, being that definition um, to do work similar to what um, Dr. Lance Lewis does, 
which is, you know, he's an educator that really does focus on the mentoring of you well, and delivers yeah, well, that. Lance, mm -hmm. Well, people like Brother Lance Lewis need to be um, um, awarded. Yes. Or, or people like Lance Lewis also need to need to be recognized need, more. Need to be recognized or to be able to come and and impart his knowledge or even hand over the baton on the word to an mm -hmm. aspirant or somebody that have done um, work and you need to pass on the baton mm -hmm. to the to the um, aspirant, to the person coming up where they could come in because for that council, not just uh, an organization, what we have done, we are able to form in a way where we will look at people that have achieved mm -hmm. and they can become and also hand an award to somebody else that is coming up and doing great things in the community. Mm -hmm. And this is the this is the um, this is the route we are going as an international award organization. Wonderful, wonderful. So having this organization in the community um, and give thanks for recognizing and wanting to um, hail up um, Dr. Lance Lewis. Um, we got cut off a little earlier, um, but um, this is a wonderful uh, organization to look at mentors within our community and people who can be in leadership roles or who are doing things to actually contribute to the community in a positive way and a forward way also. Um, so give thanks for your platform because I think this is fantastic and give thanks for um, hailing up Dr. Lance Lewis. Thank you very much. And I look forward in linking up with Brother Lance Lewis so mm -hmm. we could build because we need to network. Yes. We need to know. We need to help mm -hmm. um, build up the council because we need everybody to help build up the council where we could have a, build a standard yes. for our people where they could see something mm -hmm. of significance that would help propel them forward in the future. Yes, absolutely. This is fantastic. So give thanks. I think okay. we will be having you, is it next week? Next week, yeah, next week Friday. I'll be, yes, I'll be there. Yes, fantastic, fantastic. And give thanks for this. So when is, um, um, uh, hopefully we get Brother uh, Dr. Lance Lewis back on the line so that he can give his um, contact details and just tell that, people how to reach him also. That, that would be a nice thing to do. That would be good. That would be fantastic. Yeah, I'm going to try and, um, and shortly try and get him back on... Um, back, 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 <laughs> back on the line. Um, I'm just sending him... A, so that we can get his, um, his information and in that way you will be able to um, get in contact with um, Dr. Lewis and um, nice. inter you know, have that networking, as you say, with, um, with the people who are actually contributing great amounts to our community. That is, yes. Because even what Dr. Lance Lewis is doing, we have a category for mentoring. Yes. And the rite of passage as one of the awards that will be given out to somebody in the Caribbean, in Africa, in America, in the UK. Mm -hmm. That's why the tower was set up in the first place. Okay, fantastic. And when do your um, when is the when do the events commence? We have the the Pataka Council International Black Carpet Awards mm -hmm. on the nineteenth of October, twenty nineteen. Mm -hmm. It's a culturally sophisticated event. We have the dinner, free course meal. We have the awards. We'll be given out 13 awards on the night. Mm -hmm. And we also have an after party where we could network amongst the people that amongst our people. Mm -hmm. most, most especially on, on anybody that attend the event. Okay. Give it's an thanks. event anybody can come in, can, can, be, um, can attend. I mean, I mean, it's an event that's open. Mm -hmm. so you can come to the event, but it's an international black carpet award. Mm -hmm. And I also, as you've um, just uh, talked about that, 
I also would like to um, hail up Sister Angie, who is from the Aga uh, Social Enterprises. She's just actually just uh, text through, um, sending a healthy greetings to all in the community because she has just reached safely. Give thanks in Gambia. That is fantastic. That's nice. That's yeah, nice. that's wonderful. So there we see another <laughs> uh, a sister there. Um, out there um, on the other side of the world doing great works uh, still continuing to be a mentor within the community um, uh, just as um, Dr. Lewis is as well um, and yourself from the Patar Council again another um, organisation that is you know, making steps to move forward so that we start to appreciate ourselves as a group and start to recognize instead of continually saying we don't have leaders, we don't have this, we don't have that. We need to recognize and notice the people who are doing those great things like you're saying. Yes, I mean, we have, we, um, we have leaders, but it's always leaders. Mm -hmm. But you see, when leaders are not feeling important, when they're not feeling recognized, when they're, when they're not appreciated for what they're doing, mm -hmm. then those people lose the shine and they feel defeated. But once we, as the council could, put them be planning to have a quarterly magazine mm -hmm. where we'll be doing the work, putting them, highlighting them in the magazine because those people are the backbone of our community. Mm -hmm. Once we start to organize those backbone like Dr. Lance Lewis, the sister that is in the Gambia. Mm -hmm. And if Mr. the Gambia feel she know anybody in the Gambia that's doing good work from the from the Gambia, mm -hmm. she can also nominate she can she can go to www.patacouncil.com and mm -hmm. nominate somebody she feels that doing great work in the Gambia. Mm -hmm. So anybody can go to the website now and nominate Anybody they think doing great work deserve of the awards that are the person categories is on the website. So we're asking them to go to the website and nominate somebody in the in the Caribbean, in in America, in Africa, in the UK that doing anything mm -hmm. that they think helping elevate humanity or our people worldwide. This is why we set up in the first place. Mm -hmm. Okay, fabulous. Thank you very much and give thanks you, for that information there of hailing up the people. Thank you. Of hailing you up the people me. within the community um, who you. are doing great works. Thank you. Give so so next week Friday, I will be on Blessed Radio yes. talking about the International Black Carpet Award. Thank you. Thank you. You're give welcome. thanks. Blessed, blessed. Bless her. Okay, bye. Okay. Um, so while we're waiting for um, uh, Dr. Lewis, hopefully he um, gets a chance to call back in. Um, if not on next week's show, I will definitely get you his um, contact details in order for the listeners to get in contact with him if they would like to. But moving on, we are actually going to finish playing that track <laughs> that I'm lucky. It's Micah B. Be Yourself. And I think it's very important from what we've been listening to with Dr. Lewis about um, following your focuses and your dreams and making them into a reality. Um, and here we go from Micah B. I and I is I. And I and I will always be I. No matter how the system try, be yourself. Don't let the system mold you. Be yourself. Don't let the system control you. Be yourself. Don't let the system turn you into sheep. Don't let it turn you into brainwashed people. No matter how them try, them can't conquer iron, 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 I. Said, don't let the system mold you. Said, don't let the system control you. Said, don't let it take away your energy. Try keep your individuality. Said, don't let the system use you. 
Don't let the system abuse you. Don't let it control your liberty. Be yourself to the best of your ability. Now live it down, yo. Follow you, no follow them. Before you know it, then you're turning in and one of them. You're bowing down to the pounds and the dollar them. Just be true to your words and try to honor them. Now live it down, down. Follow you, no follow them. Before you know it, then you're turning in and one of them. You're bowing down to the pounds and the dollar them. Just be true to your words. Your inner strength and your originality Stopping you from trying to be the way that you're supposed to be Fighting against freedom and your individuality Use up your mentality when shaping your reality It's not about the quantity of life, it is equality If your mind is truly free, you'll be who you want to be Then you will see, yeah, yeah, yeah I'll Follow you, not follow them Before you know it, then you're turning in a one of them you're bowing down to the pounds and the dollar them. Just be true to your words and try to honor them. Yeah, me say follow you, not follow them. Before you know it, then you're turning in a one of them. You're bowing down to the pounds and the dollar them. Just be true to your words and try to honor them. Down the be down, down. No matter what they want to do, ain't no matter what they want to say. Ay, ay. I'm never gonna let them take my soul away, no. Greetings, greetings, Len. So glad that you Hello. got you back. Greetings. Hello, hello. Hi, greetings. Glad we've got you back. We just had the Patar Council who uh, called in. Um, they were hailing you up, which is f which is fantastic. Um, they've been listening in keenly and uh, are loving the works that you've done. Okay, thank and you. And are very interested in contacting you. And no I guess problem. several others maybe also. So, um, you know, we're almost at the end of tonight's okay. show. We've got about four minutes. So, 
Do you want to give the listeners um, some details as to how they can contact you? Right. Okay. Um, I suppose this is my email. Yeah. So that is dr. Lance Lewis two at gmail dot com. Mm-hmm. And then there's my phone number. Which I don't know, but <laughs> look for it. So okay. I'm like, I'm always one. Why do I need to learn that? I lose them so often. My sons are always <laughs> cussing me because I'm always losing my phone. You're going, Dad, we've got so many numbers did. for you. <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh dear. It's so with, okay. Um, yeah. My phone number is zero seven eight zero three zero one six seven eight two okay can i just how long i will have that for i don't know but it's the longest (laughs) number i've ever had (laughs) i even lost my phone in cairo oh wow and and and, and the taxi driver brought it back to me oh that's yes he found out who it belonged to phone people found out where where i lived and brought it back to me Oh, and that's cairo then i lost it for a couple of months in my son's car well, it always seems to come back. But at least you got it back, yes. Yeah, could you, twice could you, and it's come back. That's fantastic. Could you please just repeat um, your email and your contact number for those who didn't catch it the first time round? Okay, my email yeah. is Dr. Dr. Lance Lewis 2 that's the number 2, at gmail.com. And then my mobile number is 07... Eight zero three zero one six seven eight two. Fantastic, thank you. Fantastic. Now, um, what any plans for the um, near future for projects that you're going to that people can be looking out for? Um, at the moment, my main focus is to bring my wife's ashes out to Egypt and Jamaica. Okay. So that's like my most immediate straightaway goal. Mm-hmm. I have to get her ashes to Egypt and Jamaica. Okay, okay. So once I've mm-hmm. done the Egypt, possibly Jamaica, I will... There's certain things, once I've come out of my main grief phase, and once I'd come out of that, I'd acknowledge that I'd sort of moved in, in a way internally yeah. certain offers started to come my way about working abroad mm-hmm. one um i think being a man beanie man has been taken from jamaica over to I... ghana mm-hmm. well the consortium who's doing that they've actually been speaking to me mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so there is so certain things are starting to appear like, like wow <laughs> Is that um, it's all about intent again? I think because you're very clear and you know how to do your focuses, you're able well, to yeah, like, a, yeah. It, there's a technique to it. There's, I wish I'm giving the talk on Sunday. It's like the techniques of success. It's mm-hmm. the pr- trying and practice all over the world, you know. So basically, it's like, well, as as I'm getting out of my grief now, I begin mm-hmm. to go, well, okay, I've done this so often to get become world champion, to get my PhD, to become an inspector, all of that. It's like techniques I've practiced and tried, so mm-hmm. I'm about to like go back into what I've always done. Mm-hmm. So where are you giving your talk on Sunday? It's at Carmo Road, West Indian Centre in Longside, Manchester. Okay, so for those listeners who are in the Manchester yeah, region... Yeah, mm-hmm. If you so could So I will tell- be actually giving a talk on accelerated learning, basically. Okay, so that's at the... Say again, please. Carmo Road, West Indian Centre. Okay, so for those in the Manchester region or the surrounding areas they're listening in, um, do please, if you have the time, go and check out uh, yes, Dr. Lance yes. Lewis on Sunday at the West Indian Cultural Centre. Give thanks. And yeah, there's lots of speakers on there. <laughs> okay. I'm one of many. Yeah, but it would be nice for those who have listened tonight to actually come Oh, yeah, want to hear, hear more or... Yeah. Yeah, because I'm going to actually go into details around accelerated learning and how you do it. And, mm-hmm. and basically, it's like, well, if you apply these techniques, you succeed in whatever you do. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. And um, it's well known because people have gone around the world and 
ask successful people in all of the various fields mm -hmm. and they've put it together all right these mm -hmm. are the techniques to use and so you know it's like here they are oh, some people paid a lot of money for these but you're getting them for free yeah. <laughs> But you know, it's at each one teach one stage, and we, it is quite important uh, considering the climate that we're in for yes. us as a community to actually start doing things that are progressive to actually start to move forward together rather yes. than this individual separatist um, condition that we're in. And we're not there to support each other, and we're not there to help each other you know to drive our goals you know yes. and you know being positive that positive impact in other people's lives so yeah i think it's fantastic work that you're doing i think it's great that you are in a position to be able to share and to have the knowledge of this to help people to understand how to move forward so give thanks for such an amazing uh, skill and um, much advanced learning that you have that you're able to share and I want to say thank you so much for your contribution tonight um being interviewed thank on you for allowing me to speak anyway thank you you're very welcome and you're welcome anytime um on the sister Lil show some people know me as sister Asha L um but you're welcome anytime on this show on blessradio.org and I want to wish you a fantastic weekend in whatever you're doing Oh, on Sunday, I have all yes, the Sunday all I'm the speaking best. at Gamo Road. Yeah, all the best for Sunday, and I'm sure we'll be in touch again because Lance, uh, Dr. Lewis will probably be um, on the, our show at a later date to have a follow-up interview. Yeah, that then you can read the. Is it like I think I told you about the book that's out recently, and it has a chapter on me. Yes. So I think if you have a look at that, then we can. Then that will lead into uh, another interesting discussion. Yes, very much so. Very much so. So thank you so much for tonight, and have a wonderful weekend. And um, I'm actually just going to play two more tracks before we end the session here this evening. And I want to actually finish that track, <laughs> which is Maccabee. It's Be Yourself and Give Thanks um, from uh, from the studio to Dr. Lance Lewis, as I'm looking around my shoulder here, yeah, seeing the nodding, um, for coming on here tonight. So give thanks and have a blessed weekend, Dr. Lewis. Thank you for inviting me on. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. Okay. So blessed love. Okay. Bye. Adios. Goodbye. <laughs> okay. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. So that was the wonderful Dr. Lance Lewis there that we had um, with us this evening, um, talking about a great need that we have, which is um, to develop people and to each one and teach one and to focus on forward moving and healing within our community. One of the things that was wonderful about talking to Dr. Lewis is his, he's um, very real, uh, very down to earth and a, a very um, integral person. So one of the, the track that I was trying to play to for you before we had those two calls was Maccabee Be Yourself, which we are going to play now and uh, you will hear the track to the end. Um, and I think it's vital to understand the words in this because being true to yourself and having your focus clear is um, very important to move forward and hopefully move forward as a collective in the future. So here we go, Maccabee, be yourself. Don't let the system mold you. Be yourself. Don't let the system control you. Be yourself. Don't let the system turn you into sheep. Don't let it turn you into brainwashed people. No matter how them try, them can't conquer iron, 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 iron. Said don't let the system mold you. Said don't let the system control you. Said don't let it take away your energy. This one is going out to Kamara, up there in Bristol. Said don't let the system use you. Don't let the system abuse you. Don't let it control your liberty. Be yourself to the best of your ability. Don't leave it down, you Follow you, no follow them. Before you know it, then you're turning in a one of them. You're bowing down to the pounds and the dollar them. Just be true to your words and try to honor them. Don't leave it down, down, follow you, no follow them. Before you know it, then you're turning in a one of them. You're bowing down to the pounds and the dollar them. Just be true to your words and try to honor them. Yeah, 
to sap your energy Trying to take your inner strength and your originality Dropping you and trying to be the way that you're supposed to be Fighting against freedom and your individuality Use up your mentality when shaping your reality It's not about the quantity of life, it is equality If your mind is truly free, you'll be who you want to be Then you will see Yeah, 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 follow you, no follow them Before you know it, then you're turning in a one of them You're bowing down to the pounds and the dollar them Just be true to your words and try to honor them Yeah, me say follow you, no follow them Before you know it, then you're turning in a one of them You're bowing down to the pounds and the dollar them Just be true to your words and try to honor them Down, 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 down No matter what they want to do, ain't no matter what they want to say I'm never gonna let them take my soul away, no way Never gonna get caught up in all the games they play According to your work, I saw you getting your pay Said that you're nice, you say you're nice, say come on what may And give me thanks for life, I miss her each and every day When I go let the system lead I astray Hear what me say, yeah, yeah, yeah Follow you, now follow them Before you know it, then you're turning in a one of them Spiritual beings having a human existence Know me I no sprint and me come for the distance Asking Rastafari for some assistance Some of them no business, them say them no response Some of them will sell all them sold for your six pants Just be yourself cause you are the difference Yeah, 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 yeah Follow you, no follow them Before you know it, then you're turning in a one of them You're bowing down to the pounds and the dollar them Just be true to your words and try to honor them Down, you dig it down, down, follow you, no follow them Before you know it, then you're turning in a one of them You're bowing down to the pounds and the dollar them Just be true to your words and try to honor them Yeah Next one is Kitty Roots featuring Donna Venice called Got to Go. Yes, we got to go. True, you 
there's one last notification that I'd like to give you before I totally sign out. And that is for um, next Friday, the 21st of December, uh, we've got at Back to Eden Centre, that's 120A Lower Clapton Road, there is a Winter Solstice Earth Strong celebration, that's Back to Eden at 120A Lower Clapton Road. We've also got Auntie Jean's Cultural Market um, on this particular Sunday and that is going to be let me just get that notification for you and that one's going to be <coughs> at the Loughborough Centre 105 Angle Road Brixton SW9 7DP that's the anti Jean cultural market this Sunday coming in Brixton so you will have a fantastic weekend and I'm out bless 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 radio bless bless you're in tune to bless radio to bless radio to bless radio to bless radio The Miracle Herb and can also treat these following conditions cancer, chronic fatigue, depression, diabetes type 2, piles, hot flushes, gonorrhea, syphilis, hemorrhoids, chlamydia, rheumatoid arthritis, tuberculosis, HIV AIDS, mental stress, lupus influenza, swine flu.